South Wales Police is insisting tonight that none of its vehicles was involved in a crash which killed two teenagers and sparked riots and violence. 15-year-old Harvey Evans and 16-year-old Kyrie Sullivan died last night in Cardiff. There followed a night of rioting with fireworks and missiles being thrown at police. It's thought the violence was sparked by reports that the teenagers were being chased by officers at the time of the accident. Footage released this afternoon appears to support that, but police say none of their vehicles was there at the time. From the scene, our Wales reporter Rhys Williams has the latest. A scene of chaos and destruction. On Stanway Road, terrified residents cowered indoors as fireworks, bricks and paving slams were hurled at police officers. Their usually quiet residential street, a battleground. Early in the morning, as shell-shocked residents dealt with their smouldering street, tributes at the source of the disorder, a crash in which two teenage boys died. They'd been named locally as 16-year-old Kyrie Sullivan and 15-year-old Harvey Evans. Rumours circulated they'd been killed in a police chase, something the South Wales force initially denied. But this afternoon, footage taken minutes before the incident emerged, showing two people on a bike being followed by a police van. We've received CCTV footage that shows a police vehicle following a bike at just prior to 6pm. When the collision occurred, there were no police vehicles on Snowdon Road. A police vehicle in Grand Avenue responded to the report of a collision, attended the area and officers performed CPR. The CCTV footage was captured on Frank Road, just before the serious collision on Snowdon Road, which resulted in the death of the two boys. As the riot escalated, the mother of one of the dead teenagers pleaded for the crowd to disperse so she could go to her son's side. He and his best friend were left lying in the road for hours, the emergency services unable to move them. As the clear-up continued today, some residents were concerned there would be more disorder tonight. Honestly, my wife, uh, as, as, as you can see, my little boy, and everybody was shocked. Everybody was shocked, you know. Hope, hope it doesn't happen. Ely is one of the poorest communities in Wales, but the local vicar tells me unrest of this kind is extremely rare. You know, the majority of people here are wonderful, and this small minority have caused this disturbance last night. Absolutely shocking, uh, you know, and, and all on the back of that poor accident, that, that tragedy, you know, those poor boys being killed. As investigations continue into exactly what happened yesterday evening, tensions here in Ely remain high. This is a community that is both in mourning and angry. On that anger, I think it's important to say that while that from some parts of the community has been directed towards the police, for many of the people I've spoken with today, they been furious with the rioters who caused such dreadful destruction to property yesterday and terrified residents. and. Of course, we now know it left 15 police officers injured. 11 of them were hospitalised. But I think the broader concern here this evening is uh, over the questions that were raised by that footage that was released earlier this afternoon and how this may have directly contradicted statements given earlier in the day, in particular by the South Wales Police and Crime Commissioner, Alan Michael. Many people are gathering here in Ely this evening and I know from speaking with residents that many of them are concerned that things could bubble over again tonight. Mary. My name's Martin Stone, the Chief Superintendent responsible for Cardiff and the Vale. South Wales Police is continuing to investigate a fatal road traffic collision and serious disorder which happened in the Ely area of Cardiff last night. At 6.03pm yesterday, we received a report of a serious collision on Snowdon Road which tragically resulted in the deaths of two teenage boys. The families of the two boys are being supported by family liaison officers and our thoughts are with both families at this terrible time. An electric bike has been seized from the scene and inquiries are ongoing to establish the exact circumstances. We've received CCTV footage that shows a police vehicle following a bike at just prior to 6pm. This footage is being recovered as part of the investigation and will assist us in piecing together the circumstances leading up to the collision. The families are being kept up to date. 
We can confirm that the following investigations have been carried out so far, and when the collision occurred, there were no police vehicles on Snowden Road. A police vehicle in Grand Avenue responded to the report of a collision, attended the area, and officers performed CPR. The investigation has involved the studying of CCTV and tracking data from the police vehicle. At this stage, we do not believe any other vehicles were involved. During the disorder, 15 officers were injured, requiring medical attention. 11 went to hospital and four were treated at the scene. We are appealing for witnesses, information and footage from mobile phones and social media. Details on how to submit these can be found on our website. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the impact last night's disorder had on local residents, who were understandably very frightened. They have our assurances we will be doing our best to arrest all of those responsible. A number of arrests have already been made and more will follow. We're extremely grateful for the support from the local community and urge anyone with information to contact South Wales Police. South Wales Police has also made a mandatory referral to the Independent Office for Police Conduct to ensure the matter receives independent scrutiny. Thank you.